All right, let's go over the project for this week, the graffiti art project. Remember, graffiti is has words as well as images and patterns. So that's what I'm looking for you to do, using colors, lines, shapes, and patterns to fill the page. I literally would like you to do the background first, and I'll be looking for that when I'm grading, and then what kind of graffiti type of styling that you decide to do on top of your project, on top of that surface last. I would like you to use more than one art material or tool for this project. And it's of course your design, it's your ideas that matter the most for this assignment. So you come up with your own ideas, make sure that it is neat. And then I'm looking for a total of two different pictures or screenshots of your art at different points of working on them, one halfway through and then one after finished. So there's some suggestions and ideas for materials you could use, a video of how to draw graffiti style lettering, and then also this handout here that shows you the steps of doing the lettering like I'm looking for. You have some kind of coloring and designs inside each letter, whatever word you decide to do. Take your time, make sure that you slowly draw, color, or paint whatever you decide to use for your project. I decided to do two different examples one that was done by hand in person on paper i did the background design of patterns and shapes first on one page and then on a separate sheet of paper i designed the word graffiti design that i decided to make eventually uh, the last step for either process either by hand or the one on the right is a digital version of this i decided to do the outlining last and of course because i had two different pages to use for my final version of my physical artwork i had a total of two different pages to work on so i cut it out on the separate sheet of paper and then i put the word um, graffiti art on top with glue last that is a way to i want to see because then it separates your main graffiti image from the background and this way it doesn't look like you're trying to color around it last um, a lot of students will tend to do backgrounds last. So I'm really trying to get you to develop a, a more interesting uh, habit of designing where you have the background done already, and then you have your image that you create on your own uh, last put on top. It helps with the separation. It looks much more neat and clean and more complete. So please do it that way. That's what I'm gonna be looking for in your art whatever way you choose to do it. Um, for the right one, I chose to use the Sketchpad uh, program that I've been offering as an idea. Uh, I, of course, I did the background first. I used a couple of different tools here, like the paintbrush tool and the spray paint tool. And then I also just decided um, for those, I decide instead of lines, I just, just put in the different kind of patterns that are available in here as a choice of filling it in. Uh, digitally, it becomes a little bit easier maybe because then you have a little bit more options to choose from. And so maybe this can also be a practice for you in order to come up with ideas for what you could do for your own art if you prefer to do it by hand. So then you just kind of spray. And then just like I said before, the last step is to outline. So I used mostly a, a pin tool for the outline, the final outline of it. So there's a couple of different ways to do this. Have fun doing this assignment. It should be a pretty fun project. I would like you to just take your time on your final project because it really will make a difference in what the outcome of it is. And so that way you can be happy and you can be proud of what you've done. Going back to the main screen again, I wanna show a couple of examples before I finish this to this video. Um, so again, you choose the, the words. There's a, any kind of words that would relate as, close, as long as it's school appropriate. You can be a name, your name. It can be a name of somebody that you like. It can be a character's name. It can be something that you say. It can be an emotion. But the thing that you'll see that's very common between all of these different examples is that there's lots of colors. There's lots of patterns of lines and shapes. You'll see a background separated from the image, the graffiti art image separately. So I want to see in a completely filled in surface with both of those elements on there. And it should be pretty fun project. So I hope that you have fun. Email me for any questions that you might have and enjoy.